Hey y'all. I uh, wanted to do kind of an introductory uh, open tuning lesson. If you're new to open tunings and want to just get an idea of what they are, this, this is a good one to, to practice. Plus it's also uh, a good one for learning Bee Gees tunes because it's got the, the main chord shapes that, that Barry used a lot. He, he uh, used to write and uh, he would play in open D. Still does, I assume. <laughs> if you don't know what open D is, look it up, but tune to this. Same thing as open E, except everything's down a step. Uh, he did a lot of... Uh, now, when you watch his hands and you're trying to follow what his chord shapes are, he, you'll see this sort of... It looks a, bit, a little bit like this. And it looks like he's doing different strings and different frets. He's not. He's doing that. <laughs> He's just doing that all the way across. The way he does it, though, makes it look like a chord, but he's just, I do it with two fingers, actually. Whatever works for you to cover all the strings in one fret, that's what you got to do. So I'm going to do it like that, but I am just going all the way across when you see that. When you see his, he's using all four fingers to kind of, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> kind of like that. It looks like he's doing a, a, a ninth chord or something, but it's really not. It's that. Um, so, uh, in fact, the, the other shape is, the one shape that he uses a lot is this. And the other one is a minor. Um, it's the same thing done on the D, G, B, and E strings, all the way in the same fret, except to make it minor. The G goes down one fret from all the rest. So this. In fact, this shape. What you doing in your bed at night? You know that. Um, the You Should Be Dancing chord. If you watch, and I've done a demo of it, if you watch You Should Be Dancing, it's the, that shape doesn't change through the whole song. He moves it to different frets, but the whole entire song, which is a pretty remarkable bit of songwriting to do that tune with only one chord shape. It's all this chord shape. That one where they're all across except for the G is one back, the minor version. Um, so at any rate, those are the two shapes you see a ton. There are a few more that he uses, but those are the, the main ones. So if you're ever stuck on how to do a Bee Gees tune, start with this, and then see where that fits in. Um, so on this one, I found a, a, a little talk show they did. It looks to be late 70s. Barry's in open D. Morris is in standard tuning. And coincidentally, they're both playing <laughs> D55s. <laughs> Which sound fantastic. Um, and it's in the G, so this would be D, E, F, G. So you figure out whatever way to cover all the strings in the same fret works for you. I do it like that. Because that hurts. It goes, the strings go right in the knuckle and it just hurts. <laughs> so I do it like that. minor one up here at seven for this one though because you're in the seventh fret you can play the open a string with it so up here at ten that's ten all the way all of them so those are the shapes so far this Except for the B at the third fret. Back to it.
be a three. A good one to uh, sort of introduce yourself to uh, Open D and, and Bee Gees tunes, especially acoustic, um, and, and kind of a gateway into Barry Gibb songwriting and guitar play. Because all, all of the, uh, I mean, even Andy, you could tell Andy Gibb, he, he had to have learned how to play guitar from Barry. Because uh, uh, if you watch Andy, uh, some of the old videos of him, like uh, uh, I Want to Be Everything, you could see him doing the same. He does the, he has his own version of how he does it. But he plays everything in open D, too, or played uh, in open D, too. So, uh, yeah, it, it sort of ran in the family. Uh, good luck. <laughs>